Now, Mr. Abramoff, if you will state after me, I solemnly affirm that the testimony I give today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God. I do. Jack Abramoff had all the tools in the lobby toolbox. He was the number one lobbyist in Washington. Jack Abramoff was really smart. <laughs> Maybe he was too smart for his own good. Abramoff has admitted to bribing as many as 20 members of Congress. Campaign contributions for legislation. Now, was it a quid pro quo? I guess you can call it that. All of a sudden, nobody remembered Jack. I frankly don't even remember having my picture taken with the guy. I don't know him. Of course Bush knew him. Absolutely. Native American game is an $18 billion industry. The D.C. lobbyists were hired, and the looting of the tribal treasury soon followed. Abramoff loved email. You referred to tribes as morons, stupid idiots, monkeys, effing troglodytes. Page after page after page. I'm not all the freedom fighters got together in Angola. <laughs> of all places, we are genuine freedom fighters. Jack always bragged about having mob ties. He approached you and said, you want to be head of an international corporation? <laughs> I'm not qualified to run a Baskin Robbins, let alone an international think tank. The money poured in. Abramoff had billed six tribes, $82 million. He was the money guy. It's another day at the office. We've lost sight of what Congress is for. People are willing to risk their careers for $25,000 on a golf trip. Abramoff couldn't have flourished if this system itself was not corrupt. He is not the evil. It's behind him. It's the selling of America. The Abramoff crisis, hell, that was just the beginning.